Hello, this is Dr. Mark Hyman. Today I'm going to explain to you how the most powerful medicine in the world is food and how to optimize your nutrition. You see, there, there's no confusion about what constitutes good nutrition, despite the conflicting scientific studies and media reports that are designed to confound rather than enlighten. If we were to gather the world's top nutrition scientists and experts free from food industry influence, there would be very little debate about the essential properties of good nutrition. Unfortunately, most doctors are nutritionally illiterate, and worse, they don't know how to use the most powerful medicine available to them, food. Common sense and scientific research both lead us to the conclusion that if we want healthy bodies, we must put in the right raw materials, real, whole, local, fresh, unadulterated, unprocessed, and chemical, hormone, and antibiotic-free food. There is no role for foreign molecules such as trans fats, high fructose corn syrup, pesticides that interfere with our biology at every level. Enough said. If you want junk out, put junk in. If you want a whole healthy body, put in whole real food. Now, what I'm about to share might be a little shocking. Here it is. Carbohydrates are the single most important food for long-term health and well-being. This may be a shocking statement given the low-carb movement and the carbophobia in America, but it's true. Of course, I don't mean the overprocessed, sugary, refined white food we commonly think of as carbohydrates such as donuts, bread, bagels, muffins, colas, juices, and most junk food. And I don't mean the cheap, super sweet, government subsidized, high fructose corn syrup that's driving our epidemic of obesity and chronic disease. The carbohydrates that I'm talking about are the real, whole, nourishing plant foods that the human species has thrived on from the dawn of evolution. In Ultrametabolism, the simple plan for automatic weight loss, I explained that most of the food consumed by humans since the dawn of time has been carbohydrates. Plant foods are comprised mostly of carbohydrates. What are they? Vegetables, fruits, beans, whole grains, nuts, seeds, herbs, and spices. These foods contain slowly released sources of sugar that prevent surges of blood sugar and insulin. And too much insulin is what causes heart disease, diabetes, cancer, depression, and even dementia. Carbohydrates also contain all the vitamins and minerals except B12 that our bodies need to operate normally and optimally. They also contain fiber, which helps normalize our digestive function and slows the absorption of sugar and fats into the body, which keeps us balanced. The bonus factor in plant foods are phytonutrients, colorful healing compounds made by plants to protect themselves, but which also protect us against aging, obesity, brain damage, and more. For example, Broccoli and the cruciferous vegetable family contain powerful detoxifying compounds that protect us against environmental toxins. Green tea contains anti-inflammatory, antioxidant, and detoxifying properties. Resveratrol from red grapes boosts our energy production and protects our cells against aging. These are just a few of the examples of thousands of phytonutrients in plant foods that should be the foundation of our diet. Michael Pollan, the author of The Omnivore's Dilemma, summed up all nutritional research in three simple principles. Eat food, not too much, mostly plants. In fact, you need know nothing else to be vibrantly healthy. That's it. Eat real whole food as it came from the earth, fresh vegetables, fruits, beans, whole grains, nuts, seeds, herbs, and spices, lean animal protein, fish, chicken, eggs. Imagine what your great-grandmother would recognize as food or what might have been on her dinner table. Just food. There really is no such thing as junk food. There's just food, and then there's junk. Whole foods containing phytonutrients, vitamins and minerals, omega-3 fats, fiber, and more, all directly, immediately, and specifically interact with our genes, controlling moment-to-moment -moment changes in our physiology and our biochemistry. Food literally talks to our genes. See, food's not only calories, it's also information. The key is to send the right information to your genes by eating whole, real food, mostly plants. Specific nutrients or plant compounds bind to receptors in your cells and then translate those messages from the foods we eat or the vitamins we take into instructions that are carried out by the cell through the effect on your DNA. That's why food can heal or harm. The choice is yours every day by what you put on your fork. So now that you're going to eat real, whole, fresh food, then you really don't need any vitamins, right? In fact, I agree. I don't think people need vitamins and they're a waste of money. But that's only if they eat wild, fresh, whole, 
organic, local, non-genetically modified food grown in virgin, mineral, and nutrient-rich soils, and not transported across vast distances or stored in, for months between being eaten, and if they work and live outside and breathe only fresh, unpolluted air, drink only pure, clean water, sleep nine hours a night, move their bodies every day, and are free of chronic stressors and exposures to environmental toxins, then of course we don't need any vitamins. But of course, I've described absolutely no one on the planet today. Therefore, in reality, we all need vitamins. A U.S. survey showed that 37% of Americans don't get enough vitamin C, 7% not enough E, 75% don't get enough zinc, and 40% not enough iron. I would say 100% of us don't have enough of the basic nutrients to create optimal health or give ourselves a metabolic tune-up. The foods you eat no longer contain the levels of nutrients that you require for optimal health for so many reasons. Crops are raised in soil where nutrients have been depleted. Plants are treated with pesticides and other chemicals so they no longer have to fight to live, which further diminishes their nutrient levels and their phytonutrient content, not to mention the toxic exposure received from those chemicals. Animals are cooped up in pens or giant feedlots instead of roaming free eating the nutrient-rich wild grains and grasses they once consumed. Since cow stomachs are adapted to grass instead of corn, they must take antibiotics to prevent them from exploding. And to complicate this further, all of us are exposed to hazardous toxins and chemicals that poison our bodies, and we live with too much stress, we don't sleep enough, we don't exercise enough, and we are inflamed, making the nutritional demands on our bodies even heavier. The question is not how much of a certain nutrient or vitamin do I need not to get sick, but how much do I need to be optimally healthy. In fact, lower amounts recommended by the government may not be safe. For most people, a high-quality multivitamin, a calcium-magnesium supplement, vitamin D, fish oil, special B vitamins like folate B6 and B12 will take care of the basics. You see, I've tested for vitamin and nutrient deficiencies in thousands of patients and found that by correcting them, people feel better, improve their mood, mental sharpness, memory, ability to have focus, as well as have more energy and even lose weight. And it helps so many chronic diseases. It also helped prevent disease. And I've seen depression, anxiety, and many, many other chronic illnesses go away or improve dramatically simply by addressing nutritional deficiency. In today's world, everyone needs a basic multivitamin and mineral supplement. The research on this point is overwhelming.